Hello everyone, welcome to our video lecture series on Hyzis and Ingersoll simulation. In today's video lecture series, we'll be discussing flash separation, how to simulate flash separation in the HISIS or in UNISIM. Uh, as you know that flash separation or flashing operation is a very common operation in chemical industries. Uh, in chemical industry, uh, a flash drum is used to separate uh, a, a mixture of liquid and vapor stream into uh, the corresponding uh, vapor phase which would be going out uh, from the top and, and, and the liquid phase which would be going out from the bottom of the flash drum. It is also used uh, in, in the simulation packages to see uh, the phase status of any particular stream whether it is uh, totally liquid or it is a totally vapor or it is a mixture of liquid and vapor. So, uh, here in the very first slide, what you see here is that we have uh, calculated the vapor and the liquid composition in flash vaporization chamber. So, this is my flash vaporization chamber here, just a flash drum, and which is maintained at 60 degrees Celsius and 1300 kilopascals. So, this is maintained at 60 degrees Celsius and 1300 kilopascals. Of course, this will be maintained, uh, the, the, the stream would be uh, 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 heated to this particular temperature and, and, and raised to this particular pressure. Before before is enters this particular drum here and the liquid and vapor we assume to be in equilibrium and they of course would be at the same temperature and the same pressure as it is maintained in this particular flash drum. Uh, in this particular case uh, uh, we assume that 100 kilo mole per hour of a feed stream containing three, 4 hydrocarbons ethane, propane, normal butane and normal pentane would be entering here and they are all in equal mole fraction. So, the mole fraction of each one would be 0 0.25. So, let us see how to do the simulation for this particular flash drum. So, what you really do, we go for the view and we add the hydrocarbons here. So, we have ethane, uh, then we have propane and the normal butane and then we have normal pentane. We cross it out here and then we go for the fluid package and we add uh, the ping robinson equation of state here. So, this is my ping robinson and uh, then of course, we enter the simulation environment in the simulation environment we drag this one this separator so this is my flash drum here so we double click on that we name this as let's say inlet stream and we name this as a vapor and let's call this as a liquid Okay, and now we go for the worksheet here and in the worksheet first we define what the compositions are. We know the composition is 0 0.25 for each hydrocarbon. So, we enter that and then we go for the next one. So, 0 0.25 and next we are 0 0.25 and next one is 0 0.25. Five. So, the composition is now defined. So, as you can see this is 1.0. So, the composition is uh, completely defined. So, once we do that then we enter the conditions here. We know that inlet conditions are 60 degrees Celsius. So, 60 degrees Celsius so automatically all the temperatures would be liquid and the vapor would be 60 liquid and vapor would be 60 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1300 kilopascals if you remember this one. Uh, so, automatically this would be 1300 kilopascals. So, both of them and let us go here if you remember uh, 100 kilo mole per hour of the feed going in. So, we enter 100 kilo moles per hour as a feed going in and here we put 100 the moment we go 100 uh, uh, automatically as you so this would be kilo mole per hour so as we can see the uh, the the, the, the submission is equally defined uh, this has turned green and this is okay that means the inlet stream is defined the liquid stream is completely defined the vapor stream is also completely defined so as you can see um, the here the vapor fraction is 0 0.4250 that you know, for each 100 kilo moles per hour and and 42 2.5 kilo moles uh, per hour of the vapor uh, going out. So, that is what basically the, the vapor fraction is. Um, 
and if you want to know the composition so what we do here we just go hit the composition here and automatically it shows that this is my inlet composition and this is the composition of the liquid phase and this is the composition of the vapor phase so i have summarized this one right here uh, here the flow rate is this is actually in uh, kilomole so this is not pound mole this is this is here is kilomole per hour kilomole per hour and um, uh, here so we just cross it out so for 100 kilomole per hour of feed coming in so this kilomoles per hour of vapor will be going out and that will be the liquid going out and this will be the composition of the vapor stream and this will be the composition of the liquid stream so this is very easy this flashing operation simulation is very easy and really quick and very accurate uh, in in Hisis or Unison. Uh, let's do one more example and uh, let's go to the next one here. We have a 45.36. Uh, uh, let me try to example this one. A 45.36 kilomole per hour of a stream containing 15% ethane, 20% propane, 60% isobutane, and 5% normal butane. So here, this is my inlet composition. So this is my inlet composition, and we have 45.36 kilovolt per hour of this particular stream going in uh, and so this is at 10 degrees Celsius and atmospheric pressure so that's a condition 10 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere pressure so that's coming in so uh, this is compressed uh, with a compressor with 75 percent efficiency so here we have a compressor with 75 effic percent efficiency and this is raised up to 350 kilopascals per hour so the outlet stream is now 350 kilopascals uh, kilopascal kilopascal that's the outlet pressure and of course the corresponding its temperature will increase because of due to of compression so after that it is now cooled in a cooler so this is my cooler here and in the cooler uh, we have now reduced the temperature to zero degrees Celsius and then it enters the flash drum and in the flash drum of course the vapor goes out from the top and the liquid from comes out from the bottom so uh, we have to simulate this uh, particular system in HISIS environment so let us see how you do that so this is very easy as usual we go here we start a new case here and here we go for the view and in the let's see what are the hydrocarbons we have here we have ethane propane isobutane and normal butane so we have ethane so here we, we choose ethane propane isobutane and normal butane so these are the four we just enter here so all of them coming in and of course again we have um, uh, we and for the fluid package we just go here and add uh, ping robinson equation of state there yeah, we know this is a hydrocarbon so that's quite logical and once we have done that so we enter the simulation environment here and the very first thing we do is uh, we just get a compressor here so we get the compressor here as you can see in this particular slide uh, in the next slide here we have done this one so so this is my feed and this is my compressor so uh, we name this as feed and this is a compressor out and the energy requirement is given by w comp so why not we do that <coughs> we go here and we double click on this one so we call let's call this as a feed and let's call it as compressor out c o m p out okay and let's call the energy requirement as w comp okay uh, comp and uh, we know that this it's a 75 percent efficient that's a default so we don't change it so that, that that's what it is given here if you can see that uh, the compressor efficiency is 75 percent efficiency and it is now compressed up to 350 kilopascals so we go here and this pressure would be uh, 350 kilopascals but anyway after that we have to add a cooler to it so why not we go to the simulation environment and so this is done so now we add a, a, a cooler so we have a cooler here so we bring that cooler here and we put it here and uh, we just uh, cool the cooler inlet would be compressor out 
so we put your compressor out here as you can see compressor out and the outlet would be according to this one we can see the this uh, cooler out so that's the name we have given so we go here we put cooler out cooler out okay and the energy requirement is let's say uh, q underscore cooler so that's the cooler duty this is entering now the flash drum as you can see in this problem here uh, after this is now cooled to zero degrees celsius the resulting stream is then sent to separation vessel so this is my flash drum where the vapor and liquid are withdrawn as two product streams so what we are going to do we are going to do exactly the same thing we get this flash drum here and what we do so this in the flash circuit the cooler out would be my uh, inlet to this flash drum here and let's call this as vapor as usual vapor and let's call this as my liquid okay so that's pretty much done there is no energy requirement here so once that is done so what we do here we just click on this workbook and in the workbook first thing what we have to do is define the compositions so why not we do the composition so what are the compositions according to this composition 15 percent ethane 20 percent propane 60 percent norovitin and five percent that pretty much defines you see this is one so that pretty much defines the uh, uh, in uh, feed streams the composition of the feed stream so that is pretty much done so once we have done that so now we go for the material streams we first define the temperature and pressure for each stream so what are the conditions for this one this is at 10 degrees celsius and one atmosphere so we put here 10 degrees celsius 10 degrees celsius and this is one atmosphere one atmosphere here so and, and what is the flow rate here the flow rate is we have seen 45.36 kilomoles that's a feed 5.36 so once that is done of course this feed stream will be completely defined so as you can see this feed stream is completely defined so now uh, of course the flow rate will remain the same when it goes out to the compressor and it is now the in the compressor the pressure is raised up to 350 kilopascals so here what we have to do is just the pressure here to 350 kilopascals the moment we do that the compressor outlet will be completely defined see the compressor outlet is totally defined and you see the temperature has risen up to 58.19 degrees celsius that's what the parameters have been calculated okay then of course it goes to this, this cooler and the cooler if you can remember that we have cooled it down to zero degrees celsius so we go here and cooler outlet temperature would be zero degrees celsius the moment we do that the cooler outlet stream would be completely defined and uh, okay in the cooler one thing we did not define what the pressure drop is let's put the pressure drop is zero uh, there is no in, uh, pressure drop we are assuming that so once we do that so we go here uh, to this here and as you can see this cooler outlet stream is also completely defined the moment cooler outlet stream is defined here the automatically as you can see the vapor and the liquid streams are also completely defined so the entire simulation see all these streams have turned uh, deep blue showing that the entire simulation the all the pa all the parameters all the degrees of freedom have been satisfied and the, and the entire simulation has been successfully done so uh, let's look at the uh, conditions here so here you see the va the vapor and the liquid uh, streams that means the flash drum is maintained at 0 degree celsius and 350 kilopascal uh, 350 kilopascals so that's what it is so the whatever the compressor outlet is this pressure is also same and this pressure is also same and this is at 0 degree celsius so let's look at the composition here so this is my composition so feed composition this one compressor output composition outlet composition of course will be exactly the same we know that and the cooler composition will be of course exactly the same but here after flashing the vapor and the liquid compositions of course will uh, would be different because these two are in equilibrium and this liquid and this stream has been flashed so as it flashes so the uh, part of the stream goes into the vapor phase and part of the stream goes into the liquid phase so that's what it is and so these are these are as, as you can see uh, this is my vapor composition and this is my liquid composition so we have tried to show that in our uh, this slide here
uh, here if you can see uh, this is my summary here and as you can see uh, that uh, these are my material streams so this is my feed com uh, compressor out cooler out vapor and liquid so the temperature in the feed is 10 degrees celsius compressor outlet has uh, uh, risen up to 58.19 degrees celsius now after the in uh, in the cooler we have uh, reduced the temperature to 0 degrees celsius so that's what it is and and the vapor uh, and the liquid and the vapor and the liquid are of course at the same pressure and the same temperature as the cooler out and uh, let's see that the compositions are uh, here given 411 so this is my liquid composition and this is my vapor composition and this is my cooler heat duty and this is my uh, the compressor work requirement and of course in terms of kilowatt that's my uh, power requirement for the compressor so that's the way you, as you can see here that we have taken we have taken a feed after we have uh, raised its pressure and then cooled it down and then flashed it and automatically uh, the, the entire simulation package gives me what are the uh, flow rate and the composition of the liquid and the vapor streams which are coming out of the flash drum so it is that easy um, and quite interesting so uh, that's the way you do it uh, hopefully we get an idea how to do the flashing operation in 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 a high system the unisim environment and uh, we'll come out with a uh, next uh, topic in our in our next video lecture series till then thank you very much bye